In this problem, we're told to find the average force needed to accelerate a 9.2 gram pellet from rest to 125 meters per second over a distance of 0.8 meters along the barrel of a rifle. So let's go ahead and write down what we're given first. So given, we're told that uh, this pellet is gonna be weighing, uh, or its mass is gonna be 9.2 grams. And so since it's in grams, you should know that's gonna be mass. So the mass is gonna be 9.2 grams. We also know that the pellet is gonna go from rest to 125 meters per second. So you should know from kinematics uh, that it's gonna be going from rest. So our initial velocity is gonna be zero meters per second because if something's at rest, it's not moving. And then it goes all the way to 125 meters per second. So our final velocity is gonna be 125 meters per second. And then we know it travels a distance of 0.8 meters. So I'm gonna call that delta x just cause this is the change, right? We go from zero to 0.8 meters. So essentially the change in x is 0.8 meters. So 0.8 meters, and then we're trying to find the average force needed. So I'm just gonna call it f. And we're gonna say f equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. And so keep in mind the equation uh, to solve for force is mass times acceleration. And so notice that we're given the mass, but we don't have the acceleration. So what we have to do is solve for acceleration, and we're gonna do that by uh, the given, what we're given. So if we say A equals question mark, because we have to solve for that too. And then now we just have to solve for A. So we're gonna use the, one of the kinematic equations, uh, and the equation that I think is best is B squared equals B sub zero squared plus two A times delta X. And so hopefully you remember kinematics and we're gonna be using that to solve. So essentially we have all these variables. We have V, we have V sub zero. Um, we don't have A because that's what we're solving for. And we're given delta X. So essentially all we have to do is just plug everything in. So um, make sure your units are correct. All these are given in meters, so we're fine. But if they're not, you're gonna have to convert them. But in this case, we're fine. So we know V is 125. So 125 squared equals V sub zero squared. And V sub zero is just zero. So zero squared is just zero. So I'm not gonna put anything. Plus two times A times delta X. And so delta X is gonna be 0.8. So we know 0.8 times two is 1.6. So it's just gonna be 1.6 A. And then if we wanna solve for A, uh, we gotta divide both sides by 1.6. So A equals 125 squared, and that's going to be one or 15,625, and then we're dividing by 1.6. And so if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that A equals uh, 9,765. And then keep in mind uh, what acceleration is measured in. It's measured in meters per second, right? Because we're using meters here. So this is going to be our acceleration. And so remember the formula is force equals mass times acceleration. And so all we have to do is plug our things in, but there's something that we're gonna have to do first. So keep in mind that when you solve for force, we measure force in newtons, and that your mass has to be measured in kilograms, and your acceleration has to be in meters per second squared. So we have uh, the correct units for acceleration, but if you look at our mass, it's measured in grams and not kilograms. So what we have to do is convert this to kilograms. So if we have 9.2 grams, we know that for every 1,000 grams, there's one kilogram. And so if we want to convert it, we just have to basically divide this number by 1,000. And so 9.2 divided by 1,000 is going to give you 0 0.0092 kg. And so essentially, we're just changing this to kg. And now since we have it in kilograms, uh, we're actually able to solve. So now we just plug everything in. So force equals the mass, which is 0 0.0092 times the acceleration, which is 9,765. So if you go ahead and do this uh, and multiply this, you're gonna get that the force is equal to 89.83. And so I'm gonna round to the tenths place. So just 89.8. So keep in mind what force is measured in. It's measured in Newtons. So the force is gonna be equal to 89.8 Newtons, and that's gonna be uh, your answer to this problem.